We are the first generation to have the ability to communicate regardless of where we are in this world because of this little guy. But what kind of black magic allows such a thing to happen? Well, not quite black magic, but these guys. Electromagnetic waves. They're everywhere, all around you and at all times. In fact, they even cook your food. Wow! There are many, many different electromagnetic waves separated by their frequency. In other words, how often they repeat a wave, like this. This is an electromagnetic wave spectrum with all the different kinds of waves that exist. Here's the one that cooks your dinner, here's the one that you can see, and right up here is the reason your phone is banned from your tests, also known as the radio wave. The cellular waveform has a frequency of 700 megahertz all the way up to 2300 megahertz. Megahertz is what is used to measure the frequency of the waveform. Regardless of Wi-Fi or cellular signals, these guys are essentially your couriers, kind of like postmen, but these ones travel at the speed of light. Why can't my postman do that? When you go outside and you have no Wi-Fi, sometimes you'll see these big poles with a white contraption on top. These are cellular towers. Although there aren't many, all phones connect to these big guys with, you guessed it, radio waves. More specifically, this particular signal is called the cellular wave. However, since you guys don't have hundreds of gigs of cellular data to waste on Facebook and Tumblr, there is another radio waveform we take advantage of, Wi-Fi. But how different is it actually to the cellular wave we know and love? Well, there are two frequencies for Wi-Fi, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. Essentially, 1 MHz is 1 1,000th one of 1 GHz. You'll notice that the cellular signal repeats at a ginormously slower rate than the Wi-Fi signal, kind of looks like this. This is the reason why the range on your Wi-Fi signal at home is so short as compared to the fact that you can receive a cellular signal almost anywhere in a city. So the faster a wave repeats, the less distance it can travel. Then why does Wi-Fi use such a high frequency? Well, because Wi-Fi repeats at a much faster pace than cellular data, it allows more information to be delivered. In a radio signal, the amplitude or the height of the wave carries the information to and from your phone. Because Wi-Fi has so many different amplitudes being sent in this wave compared to your cellular data, it sends much more information in the same amount of time as a cellular signal could. And this is the reason you should love both your Wi-Fi and your cellular signal, regardless of their differences. So, next time your YouTube stops loading halfway through, don't blame your Wi-Fi because it's probably one of these guys.